I told you I could break your nose with this or knock out your couple teeth with one shot or potentially knock you out if I hit you in the right spot with the head with this or break your hand with it would you believe it? Uh, weapon and it goes virtually invisible uh, anywhere, you can bring it anywhere and with this particular weapon that I'm going to show you that's everywhere you can grab something and improvise and make one of them you can save your life you can you can defend effectively against a knife you can disarm a knife i'm going to show them uh over the next uh probably this month uh disarms with this with the bandana that's it simple bandana deadly bandana ninja bandana all right what's different about this bandana the, what I want to show is the one you know it looks harmless right uh, but if I told you I could break your nose with this or knock out your couple teeth with one shot or potentially knock you out if I hit you in the right spot with the head with this or break your hand with it would you believe it doesn't matter okay what it is is because this is loaded this is a load my loaded bandana here Ninja, Ninja. all right loaded a certain way if you fold it the um you have to fold so you put your item in there it could be anything from 50 cent pieces to silver dollar to a smooth round rock you know that's kind of that that's ideal this flat one because this also weighs it down in your pocket too all right and i just want to show a little bit um the damaging power this thing can deliver and i have this in what i the way i do these weapons and stuff this is like a low level uh weapon in here this is not like i've got i'll show you some other ones i have that are really fucking break your skull all right so anyway you just you're, you're gonna tie a knot into one end and then I'm, i'll do this inside later on another video probably more in detail much more in detail and different variations of the fold so it's very important so it doesn't come out at all when you're the breakup and the need of getting away from that cancerous thing i was in up in new york relationship january like back here in february felt pretty much everything was like i got thrown in a big huge pile of shit you know uh but by the end of the year now december i'm smelling like roses i mean i got so much things going uh i've been working hard on getting the momentum going getting myself into the stuff and uh everything from the martial arts to the writing to the open mics to videos to other things and it's pretty good and, and that, as therefore that's why i'm in this sharing 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 mood because you know this is not really martial arts what i'm going to show you now but it, it is kind of but it's much more ninja ish all right we're going to take a regular bandana and turn this into a deadly <laughs> weapon one two three you know you can carry this with you anywhere this is a very good defense against a knife uh, if you know how to use it can even disarm a knife with one pop uh, and I'm going to show that uh, uh, this you know maybe later on this month all right so there's two ways first I'm just going to show how to set it up and how to load the bandana um, with a few different uh, weapons I right, see so you can take a regular bandana you know even unloaded it's good you can block you can wrap somebody up with you can pop them in the face and the eyes and the mouth and it's still distracting and then you can maybe follow up but when you load it properly you're breaking bones you know break a nose knock out teeth break a fingers hands crack you know crack the person's head knock them out okay so what we're gonna do 
is so I don't want to waste time and untie this other end because this, this is not loaded okay this is just a regular knot on this end with technique so I'm gonna put this down I'm gonna show how how to load the bandana you know so it's um, it doesn't so you the object the loaded thing doesn't come out when you're popping right you could use anything from quarters uh, 50 cent piece a uh, silver dollar uh, right size stone ideally you want something that's kind of like flat like this a silver dollar or more these are just two uh, washers I have uh, taped together but if you don't have anything you pick up a rock off the ground I've got a few rocks that I set aside I'm around I see a little perfect size flat rock boom I'll pick it up uh, or you can pick a you know a bolt if bolts are good or some other kind of metal but get creative with it you know find something that works well I'm not gonna go I mean this these type of things with the torque and, you know fuck, maybe kill somebody crack their fucking skull if you have to you have to but all right right now we're just gonna go with like the silver dollar type size thing it's just big washers two of them are right, you gonna you can see this here oh god if I haven't had a real fucking like camera shitting people fucking filming this I could get so much stuff out one day all right you're gonna take you're gonna spread your bandana out Okay, like I said, I tied this knot here in this end and I don't feel like I'm tying it, it doesn't matter. All right, yours will be untied. Take your item, your weapon, and you're gonna put it right there, about. I'm sorry, I'm doing the best I can. If I had someone taping this, you know, it's fucking hard. And I, it drives me nuts because I want everything to be as good as I can get it. All right, so you're gonna put it there a couple, about three, maybe four inches the most uh, from the corner up there. And then from here, you're going to take it and fold it over about half, half of it, okay? And now, this side, you're gonna take it and fold it just a little bit more than half. So you're kind of overlapping a little bit. All right. Now you're going to do it again from the left, your left side. You're going to fold it over in half, in half apart, and then this one you're going to bring it over just a little bit over that that other fold. Okay. And then what you're going to do is you're going to pinch it on the bottom, you know, so it doesn't go on the top. The, the bottom and twist it. Okay, pinch the top, pinch the bottom, twist the bottom. Okay, I've done this too tight sometimes and I ripped the fucking bandana. So you don't really have to go to gorilla strength with it. And the more you do these, the, you just get a feel for it. Alright, so you, you twist the bottom and the top ones. And then you're going to take the top and just bring it over, and bring it through, and tie a knot. So nice out about 20 minutes ago. Fuck that shit. I'm gonna tie that knot. I always like to tie a second. I definitely tie a second, third. Anyway, but this is just with one knot. This should be kind of look like this. Just kind of little tip at the end. And again, the size of your object will determine. You know whether but don't freak out you know just like that and then i like i said like to put two i've ripped these before just like because i i go berserk with this totally metal in my Sometimes if your item's too big, it's just, it, it'll work, but it's just not ideal. Just, you don't need a whole fucking brick in here to do the damage, you know. You just, these things are fast. You know, you combine this with regular body movement, 
stuff is good, okay. So there, that's a little bit bigger than I thought it would be. Okay, so I have this in here. Okay, this is for the like, the blocks and the disarms and follow up, okay. So you got this one end that's not loaded, okay. It's just a irritant, you know, you have to flick it, distraction from his eyes. But then you got your loaded end, you flip it and, you know, let's go over there. I got some bottles and shit to break, that'll be fun. Man, it was like sunny and 60 out, and then inside of like 20 minutes, fucking cold and gray again. All right, so let me get this. All right, I got a few different uh, targets there uh, to whack. I haven't, I haven't done these in a while. So, and like anything else, you practice your targeting. You know, you. If you have a, a person, they hold up their hand, you pop their hand. But I just want to Pretty much. Yeah. Self-destruct sequence activated. I can't think of a place that you can't, can't carry this particular weapon. It is invisible to everyone who doesn't know. But it is, alright, enough of the bullshit. Alright, this is... I just... I've toyed with wanting to show, make it, make it pay for this. Because I, I chew marble, I eat marbles, I, uh, when no one's around, I, I grab a big fucking tire and go, <laughs> could play with a tire and bang it around because I can't remember script, I can't remember how to speak, and I waste daylight. Mm. All right, we're rolling. Okay, hello everybody. Jason Moag. And then I'm gonna start adding my last name. To get the shit together before I fucking do it. I am determined to define my life, even if it means I must terminate it. I am determined to finally do something that inspires me, even if the results of this pursuit forces me to realize my physiological limits. For the first time I feel the power and potential of my life, and I know that to master it, I must destroy it. My last moment will be my finest. I'm leaving this town behind me, I'm leaving this life behind me too. All the time, all the little lives, all the time, all the little strives. All the time, all the no time to rest Spend a life feeling under arrest From the bed to the drum To the bar, to the couch, to the bed To the car, to the job, to the grave Late at night in the dead of the winter I'm walking on till I die Days from now they'll find my body Shake their heads and wonder why I wanna feel my body freeze I wanna force the life out of me I wanna stare into the eyes of death As it comes slowly closer 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 Cool 